Okay, so here's another, looking at another angle and, and how they set up the, the concrete slab. We've got here what they call the boxing, and the boxing there is all set up to create the edge of the concrete. And the boys will, uh, by using string, string lines where it's all been set up, and the house has been located where it's got to go, they'll string line through, then they'll set their boxing up on top of that. Um, so that, that gives us the exact size of the slab and where it's got to go. And they'll put in these star pickets here, that'll hold the boxing in place. Uh, and then they adjust it with the, their extra star picket and timber. So as they go along, the boys have got some string lines set here, as you can see. Those lines will keep the whole place nice and straight. So as it pours, the concrete's going to put pressure on the boxing. And then they'll adjust their, adjust these, put some pressure on that to get it all nice and straight for it. So that'll give us a nice straight. Here will be a, a part of an outdoor patio area. So we only bore the main house slab itself along there. Uh, this other area will be poured afterwards, so it'll be able to crack when we do the external concrete and become poured and become the out poured outdoor area and concrete. The other part of what we've got is you've got your main slab, but then you've got some footings for the likes of um, video posts and beams. So you can see here, let's get in the sun's knees. This is a, a casting plate, you can see the, the rod there. With that, this will actually go into the concrete. Be poured once they pour into the concrete, <clears throat> that our steel post will then be uh, be welded to that. And here, yeah, that'll go was that'll then be an end of that. So it gives it a concrete. That gives a solid base in the concrete, steel footing to then weld onto. And you can see the size of the of the footings here um, are quite large. This one here is roughly 600 by 600. It's probably oversized a little bit for what it is. 900 feet, that's it becomes one full mass of concrete and the idea of that is especially in the tropics in there in the, where we are with wind loading we want to stop everything from lifting we're under high wind loads you want to stop that lifting happening so it becomes a mass weight of concrete and also it gets a grip in the, in the ground itself so we've got two of those there'll be a patio come off here two steel posts and there's two massive footings there to stop that roof <clears throat> from taking off